Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. Let's check out the fitness center. Scanning target, no type and material detected. Thanks, Scrub Jay. Who's doing the best? Their scores are all negative? Damn, they all suck. Attention everyone, we have a special announcement from our head of security. Thank you. This is Officer Bhatia with a quick lost and found update. An important briefcase has been misplaced on level two near the lounge of the crew annex. If you locate it, please contact security immediately. We saw an email about that briefcase, didn't we? Saying if you find it, like, let me know, I'll... I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine or something like that sounded really shady there's not just an email but also a like security announcement it probably is something important oh oh god oh god fuck i just mispressed a bunch of keys but the reason i was freaking out is because i definitely heard that there's a mimic i think it's one of the balls oh What the hell? That's new? Okay, so they do, I guess, AoE damage, if you wait a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the delay loop time. We're getting kind of pretty close to the end of Corruption Level 2. Ah, nice. Takes out maybe 25% of the Corruption. Phantoms suck. <laughs> so the teams are the Lunatics, the Phantoms, and the Craters. Those are very appropriate names for this place. I know everything's becoming slowly corrupted. But there's always time to try to shoot some hoops, right? Isn't that what the kids say today? Shoot some hoops? Yeah, I don't play sports. Robert Scooter Tate. Wait a minute. Why is that one floating? Can't hide from me. Until I come across one that does hide from me. Oh, each locker. No life transmitter. That is the first time I've gotten those. Also, one of my quests is to uh, use one of these things to take out the moon shark. Developed in psychotronics, the no wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. Hmm. It doesn't sound like it does damage, though. What exactly did that objective say to do? Nullify one moon shark. So you don't have to kill it, just nullify? Huh. Oof. Yeah, I need to dump my junk. Is 
something about a large, misty gym bathroom like this with bloodstains everywhere just extra creeps me out, and I don't know why. I feel like I'm being greedy with all the supplies that I'm taking. Do I really need this much? Oh, I... Yeah, I didn't look at the fitness center computer. Aside from that, though, that's everything. Yeah. Dunk assist. Play ball. Hmm. Regarding Fatal Fortress. Oh. What is this replying to? Um, from Alistair Tremontin. Original message, Fatal Fortress. Hi everyone, I'm prepared to run a Fatal Fortress game for anyone interested. Games will be in the cafeteria on one night a week after the third shift. Okay, you can read the rest of that if you'd like. Uh, please stop the global email list is for business only. <laughs> Director Riley Yu, which is one of the characters we're going to get to play as, and is part of the Yu family. Slam dunk assist. Hey Audrey, after a conversation the other day, I took some time to tinker with the surplus gravity pad and set it up in the gym. Now anyone should be able to dunk. We are in lunar gravity, you know. At the moment it is very unstable, so anyone that uses it does so at their own risk. I'll come back and tune it later. Oh, so it's just the gravity pad is the dunk assist. Wasn't it already on, though? Complaint. When I was working out this morning, I witnessed Morton Rybuck leaving his dumbbells on the floor when he was done. He also failed to wipe down the equipment he used. He's inconsiderate and unsanitary, and I hope you'll speak to him next time he comes in. Please keep my name out of it, though. Larry. Phantom's practice. Say, hey, Audrey, can I book the gym for a practice session at 1800? Oh, we're about to get corruption level 3 in just a couple minutes. Okay, rec center done, fitness center done. I think we've done, yeah, we've done everything except the living quarters. Or habitation modules. Let's do 1 through 24. Oh, and that's right, the use place. Are these special? Ah, uh, hack level 2. I don't have any hack. But I do have repair. But not repair 2. I hear... Yeah, I heard a mimic in there. I didn't think it would come out, though. Hey. Seems like a valid surface. Maybe you have to be able to reach it? Because the ground seems okay. <laughs> Ooh, fuck! Jesus Christ! That's the corruption level, okay. Okay. Alright. Um, I don't really need any of these things. I'm listening. Sometimes I hear sparks, like what just came out of here, that sound... What was that? Key 
keycards and crew members. Some doors are locked by keycards. Check the keycard reader to see the name of the last crew member to access the door. Then use the security station to track down that crew member and recover the keycard. Oh, okay. Last used by a Joe Blank. Joe Blank, what a boring name. Attention everyone. We have a very special announcement from our facility director. This is Director Riley Yu. I want to officially welcome our newest arrivals. I'll be blunt. The moon is a harsh mistress. Your time here at Pythias is limited. And the longer you're here, the harder things are going to get for you. But the rewards are there for those who are able to rise to the occasion. How fortuitous about the corruption levels getting harder as you wait. So, let's get to work. Ooh. Is this the place that was locked, or... Or what? If so, then there's a... Yeah, this is definitely that place. Alright, there's a Mimic in here. Right? No, this wasn't... Uh, the place that had the Mimic inside of it had a broken door. What place is this? Security barracks. Okay. Can probably unlock some doors from in here. Johannes Cruz's journal. Excerpt from Security Officer Johannes Cruz's journal, entry 177. Today marks six months since I was assigned here. In six months, I've watched 14 people die. Most of them were the worst kind of criminals, but something about the way they died is just wrong. I remember being a kid and watching Kev put a mouse in the cage with his pet boa. It was horrifying. I cried for that mouse. I saw that snake gulping it down in my dreams for weeks after. But eventually I understood that it was just nature. But this? It's not natural. And as long as I have this throne... Throne S4? I'm not going to be a mouse. What's throne S4? Take the ammo, but I'm gonna stop taking stuff. I just don't have the space, and I just don't need it. Ooh. <laughs> the module is called Beefy Boy. I want to be a beefy boy. Increase your maximum health. Regenerate stamina more quickly. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I need a password or a hack level three. Right, we were looking at this room when I got totally freaked out by the corruption level changing. Yeah, I'm gonna stop taking stuff, for the most part, unless it's super important. Control module. I still don't know what that's for. Ah, it's probably important, but I don't know. A fuse-like component used to operate several proprietary Transtar technologies, including the moon-based tram and Typhon towers. Caution volatile produces strong EMP when damaged. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one there. Oh, I can put stuff in the microwave. Cool. Ah, oh, completed. Find ten fabrication plans. Courtship Habits of Eurasian Waterfowl. Excerpt from a book about birds by Dr. D.W. Daly. The mating rituals of the great crested grebe take several days to complete and culminate in what birders call the weed dance. 
After much miming, mimicking, and synchronous swimming, the pair will dredge some pondweed from the breeding lake. Then, rushing towards one another, they paddle furiously and raise their bodies from the water and dance breast to breast, swinging their pieces of pondweed in their beaks. As the male and female both sport a crest of red and black feathers, few can distinguish them. Peace of Paradise, Chapter 10 The Snub-Nosed Revolver It's a pulp noir novel. Noir. <laughs> noir. A pulp noir novel. A pulp noir novel, rather. You can read that if you'd like. Regarding living quarters... I understand why they, why they separate us into living quarters by department, but is there any chance I can get transferred to another engineering barrack? I'd sleep in a tent in a crater rather than spend another day in here with Murph. Guy always eats in his bunk and his chewing and smacking is off the charts. The stink of those jellied eel tins he leaves everywhere destroys the room, and it's not just his eating, his toenail clippings rain down like nasty snow when I'm trying to read. Ew. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry if things are so uncomfortable for you. We're already beyond capacity and several crews with opposite shifts are sharing bunks. So, basically, no. Surprise! Hey, Hotshot. Guess what I got? The key card to the storage room at the lounge. I'm having drinks with Mary, but meet me in there after your shift for a surprise. Flower cuttings. Whoa. Where, where'd it go? Oh. How did it end up there? Space base. Okay, so that's all of this, right? Yeah, alright. Ah, uh, you can't touch me. Gotta keep an eye out, though. There might be new enemies out here. In fact, that gate is closed because there are enemies nearby. They might be on the other side, though. Hmm. Oh, oh. Um, hmm. Putting it on a turret would be good. Hmm. Q beam might be good. Maybe just a recycler charge? Hmm. Let's do a lure, actually. Typhon contaminated. Scanning target no alien material detected. Is it already destroyed? Oh god, it is. Um, hold on, do I have an EMP charge? Because it's like all electric, right? Yeah, the EMPs must have been on the other character. Let's try a Noiv transmitter? No, that's Psy that's nullifying. This thing isn't Psy, right? I mean, it kind of is. But it takes control. This is one of the ones that's like a Technomancer or something, right? Maybe it uses Psy to control the technology? But it mainly uses technology. I, I don't know. I'm going to try it. Oh shit, it says resisted for those hits. That's that's not working. Um Q beam? Ah. Well, the sign nullifier definitely worked. Just completely incapacitated it. Oh, got another delay loop time. Nice. There's my little buddy there. Oh no, or is this my buddy? Uh, I think this is my buddy. My buddy's got the yellow things, right? Let's head to the other habitation modules. Definitely hear something. Something big.
How come this thing opened for me? It says I don't have a matching keycard. Just looking for, like, big or important. I think it's in the room next door. It doesn't seem to be leaving it, so I don't think I have to worry about it. But yeah, just looking for, like, key cards and stuff mostly. I think I'm going to leave all of that, all of those things. Ah, oh, power's out for this. I totally lost my train of thought. I was, oh, right, I was about to look at this. Control modules. Note to self, verify that all harvesters have fresh control modules installed. That's this thing, right? Yeah, the harvesters take control modules. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do something with the harvesters at some point. They, they definitely have some significance. Even if all they do at the moment seems to be just say no when I try to step on them. EMP charge. I should probably get that. Um, I could just... Oh, I just drank it. Uh, Alright. We're gonna get a little drunk for a second. Sun-dried tomato jerky. That sounds good. Attention everyone. We have a very special announcement from our security director. This is Director Riley Yee. Following her participation in our new skill sharing initiative, engineer Angela Wagner has been promoted to Operations Pilot 1, effective at the end of the cycle. Congratulations, Ms. Wagner. I keep expecting secrets up there, but haven't found any yet. Hello from Talos. Hi, Haley. Talos is so awesome. It's like a giant cruise ship in space, far larger than the crew annex down there, and luxurious by comparison. There's so many people here, and they see new faces all the time. There are movie theaters and world-class cuisine. The only difficult part is what most of the crew here is is that most of the crew here is unaware. It's a challenge to keep a lid on it sometimes. Anyway, I have to run. I'm scheduled for a procedure called aptoregressive neurotomy. Sounds scary, but the doc says it's pretty standard with transfers. I've missed you and the old crew. Please tell them I think about them often and we'll try to get a lift on a shuttle sometime. Stay safe. That does sound terrifying. Aptoregressive neurotomy. Sounds like they cut something out of your brain. Hello, Phantom. Yeah, I need Repair 3 to get in there, well... Space Shampoo? This? Many objects on the Pythias moon base can be repaired if you have the repair skill and enough spare parts. Is this thing broken though? Doesn't look like it. Hold down the G until the repair is completed. Yeah. Nothing to repair there. Hm. I guess this is where you would repair it if it was down. 
Oh, wait a minute. We've already been here. Right? Yeah, we found VJ. Where's this exactly? Oh, back to the beginning. The recycler, fabricator, utility room. Okay. Well, perfect. I need to recycle a bunch of stuff. There's that satisfying noise. Yep, just can't do it in low gravity if you want to hear that. Let's see if we can make that thing I wanted to make before. Escape pod navigation chip. Yes! I've got the stuff for it. It's even got a purple color to tell you that it's important. Okay. I haven't actually been to the escape pod yet, but when I do... Should work. Ooh, uh, we're actually pretty close to the next level of corruption. Let's stave that off with a delay loop time. Man, it's loud. Oh, shuttle gate and tram station up there. Okay, so I guess that's where I'm going next. We are done with the habitation modules? Question mark. I think so. I don't want to stay around too long at this point. I really don't want to see corruption level 4, so let's actually just head up. Oh. Flaming Phantom. Hi. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might just skip a lot of this. And explore this some other time with a different character. For now, let's get to the escape shuttle. Question is, where is it? Uh, tram station four. I think up the stairs. Oh fuck! Okay, it didn't hear me, that, or see me, it was just from being near it. Jesus. God, that scared the shit out of me. Wait a minute, wait, 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 did that just burn up my... Oh, no. Wow, that completely destroyed it. It was at about 90%. Holy crap. Um, well, I, I do have the repair skill, right? Uh, one spare part. One spare part to get 25%, okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with 50. I'm glad I left when I did. I'll leave the pistol. Alex Yu and Dr. Ken Mizuki over that way. Shuttlegate. Control tower. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to go for it. Oh. Material detected. We're fine, we're fine. Um, Alex Yu's office keycard. Ooh. Um, if I unlock, no typhon detected. if I unlock the office with the keycard, like, does that carry through to other characters, your keycards? If I unlock the door as this character, will that carry through and be unlocked for the other one? I, d I don't know. I'm, I'm going to assume it will, that we'll just have the keycard as the other character. I assume you just have all the fabrication plans as a global pool that you get with all the characters as well. Habitation modules, 
Skeletor Repair Kit Fabrication, and a couple Neuromods. Well, I guess there's no reason to hold on to the Neuromods, right? I could... I guess I could store them away for another character, but I mean, I'm going to want to upgrade every character, right? Let's get Repair 2. Ooh. Fruit. Get by, Sir Hefe. This is so weird. Hey, you always wanted to get a good look inside my head. <laughs> Not like this. When are you going in? I have your connect, Tom. I'm headed there now to inject your piloting skills into my skull. You're right. It does sound weird. But at least now there will be two shit-hot aviators who can fly this brickyard. Actually, you'll be obsolete, because I'll be able to fix them and fly them. Maybe you'll pick up some of my other charming qualities. Yeah? Like what? <laughs> I shouldn't have to tell you. There's a security station to track Angela Wagner and recover her connectome. Shit. Well, we're gonna have corruption level 4 to deal with. Oh, we're gonna die. I got a little bit of time till then, though. Where is the nearest security station? Ah, need a password. Or to hack it. Yeah, here we go. Okay, something Wagner? Oh, there we go. Angela Wagner, Shuttle Maintenance Chief. Location, Pythias Labs. Oh, and by the way, it got to corruption level 4 during that cut. So, yeah. Oh boy. I don't think I can fight at this point. Like, I'm pretty sure I just kind of have to sneak. So, Pythias Labs. Over there, apparently? Okay. Oh! Typhon material detected. No Typhon material detected. <laughs> Well, shotgun's broken again. Ah, with the better repair skill we get 35% per repair. How am I alive right now? Jesus Christ. Let's... I guess I'll just use a med kit. Even that doesn't do it. Alright. Drink some coffee stuff. And her suit needs to be repaired too. Okay. Oh fuck, what is that? Mm. Thermal Phantom 4. No Typhon detected. <laughs> what was that? Just hulked out for a second. If I want to kill that thing from afar, what should I use? Shotgun obviously is not a good thing for that, and if you get close to it, it destroys your weapons, so from a distance would be good. Could do the Q-beam, I suppose? I've got a good amount of ammo for this. Yeah. Thanks, Shoe Bill. Repair three. Seems like everything takes higher repair than I have. 
just picked up some sushi rolls from that phantom. I would not want to eat that. Nice mural. Whoa. God, this makes me so uncomfortable going through areas and not fully exploring them, but just the way this, this DLC is set up, that just makes sense right now. Yeah, in the base game, I would explore every little detail as much as possible, but that just doesn't make sense right here, which is kind of interesting. It's a really different way to play. Okay, Weaver. Hmm. Could just lure it. Could also just kill it. Hmm. I don't think they're particularly hard. Almost got my turret back. Yeah, they're no problem. Thanks, Woodpecker. Secrets? Feels like there's gotta be something down here. So we are at the crew annex, and we need to head to the Pythias Labs. Ooh, another time delay. Good. I didn't want to see Corruption Level 4. I definitely don't want to see Corruption Level 5. Space Elevator. I feel like I may have read these in the base game. I'm not sure. You could read this if you'd like. Yeah, I really do feel like I have read these. This is a security reminder. Exotic material is restricted to the Pythias Labs and Crater. Violations will result in immediate disciplinary action, up to and including termination. Why is this one green? I mean, it's better than what I have, or no, it's worse. Standard. Yeah, it looks like it's just been upgraded a bit, so it has half the recoil and a little bit more ammo capacity. Okay, that's definitely my new weapon. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna track down Angela Wagner in the Pythias Labs. <laughs>